Hi, I'm Shade Lundy. This is the Bull Show. We're gonna start off by saying, you know, comment below on what you feel and what your rap name would be. Mine would be a Virex, and my first CD would look something like this. That's that's gangster. A Virex. <coughs> also, when I was away, I shot point twelve and point twenty BBs. Apparently, point twenty is supposed to be better. So. You know, point twelves, point twenties. You can't actually see it, but the point twenties are kind of deeper, and the circles are better. Also, I just want to remind you to never get paint on your shoes because they never come off. You know. Also, he says I look better without glasses, so the rest of this video is going to be without glasses. If I had my own font. It looks something like this, only all the bad letters would look better, like this one, and this one, and this one, and possibly this one. And if I had my own Bull Show t-shirt, it'd look something like this, only without that fucking retarded W, and maybe a better L. These are two L's, by the way. And maybe a better U and a better B. Maybe a better O. This is the best S I've probably ever drawn. So, perfect. Oh, also. If WWE ever asked me to make a tournament for them, uh, I'd be called the Iron Man Tournament. And let's see if I can do this. And the tournament would be about... Uh, like this long. Let's see if I can show you a picture of how long it'd be. Ow, it really hurts standing up like this, by the way. It would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 total matches. You know, first I'd start off with the qualifying matches to get into the tournament, which is con conceived of 8 matches. And then there'd be the quarterfinals, which are like four matches. And then the semifinals, which would be two matches. But then the finals, which would be one match. And then the, the tournament's called the Iron Man Tournament. And the first qualifying matches are just regular wrestling matches, you know, with the basic disqualification rules, with the basic, you know, count out, all that. But as we move into the quarterfinals, all matches will be an extreme rules match. Which I think would just spice things up to get ready for the semifinals, which will be a steel cage match. You know. But then in the finals, where both section winners go up to face each other, to determine who WWE Iron, WWE's Iron Man is, that would be in an Iron Man match. You see. But it would kind of be. I guess. If I could make my own matches, it'd be like a steel cage match, but the weapons would be attached into the steel cage. You know? But there would be a top over it, so there's no escaping the cage. You had to pin your opponent or make him submit or whatever. So, yeah. And the first match would be Sheamus versus John Morrison, because I'm trying to make him do, like, all rivals. Uh It'd be Sheamus versus John Morrison. It'd be Randy Orton versus Cena in the second match. In the third match, if I was a wrestler, because I play SmackDown versus Raw, uh, my character's name is Jason Nidus, and if I was a wrestler, that would totally be my name. <laughs> so, you know, it'd, then it'd be Triple H versus Jason Nidus, because in the WWE Universe mode, uh, I was like, I'm like at year 12, and my enemy right now that keeps... Every time I win a match, he comes out and, like, smacks me. It's Triple H. So it'd be me versus Triple H. And then I'll put Kane versus Edge, because they're just bitter rivals right now. Then it'd be Miz versus Ted DiBiase, who really don't have any connection whatsoever. Then the next match would be Chris Jericho versus Big Show. The next match would be CM Punk versus Undertaker. And then the next match would be Kofi Kingston versus Mysterio. You know, that just seems tight. A reminder to do your science homework. Because I have not done it. And this is totally going to get turned in, and I'm totally going to fail. I'm just kidding. 
I got another copy and finished it. I'm kidding. You know, also a reminder to check out this video in front of my face. Because it's really a great video and I love it. Take it down now. Also to check out this video I uploaded a long time ago. Uh, and it's really just a friend of mine who I think, you know, I renamed it to see if you can, like, look at the first frame and see if you can, like, stop laughing. Ah, that's totally not what I meant to say. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> nah. Although, here's a little backstory of how the Bull Show got my last YouTube account completely deleted off YouTube. It's actually a great story. I posted a video doing a Pakistan man voice because that's because I had a friend who I asked to you know do his voice but my grandma thought I was trying to be a terrorist so she got me deleted. Like she said she was gonna do some, she said she was good what she say she said the CIA was watching me But I didn't get it at all, because there was a complete racist who had subscribed to me on my last channel. And I'm talking complete racist. Like, you can't even describe the racism of this motherfucker. I'm talking, he made fun of blacks, Jews, Mexicans. It was funny, but it was completely racist. Also, you know, I'm going to put up a picture slideshow. So, look through my videos, and like, literally, right under, like if you go to my channel, right under my media player, you know where it shows the videos, the playlist, right under that is my moderator, or monitor, whatever, and it says for you to, you know, put in your video things to, for video ideas, because I would literally do anyone's video idea, like literally, like if you want me to go up to someone's store step and take a crap on their front step, and like videotape it and make a fun video out of it, I'll totally do that. If you want me to go slap a black dude. Oh. Oh. Dude, I just got mentally punched in the face. I will do it though. If you want me to jump off something really tall, I'll do it. Like literally, because I want to try to put the fans to make their own videos that they wouldn't do, but they want to see. You know what I mean? Shade, isn't that being a freaking whore? No, it's not being a whore. I'm giving the fans what they want. Shade, no you're not. You're being a whore. Fuck you, troll. <laughs> I'm kidding. Alright, see you guys later. Bye.